Welcome to the channel, folks. Clunkers and Classics. Uh, we're on episode... Uh-oh. What are we on? Number 15 now? Uh, of the restoration of this 1978 Dodge Aspen RT 364 barrel. Uh, I'm going to change a few plans up. Uh... This car is not going to be a daily driver for me, so I'm not going to go all the way with it. So I'm probably not going to really drive it very much, just maybe into town, which is about 10 miles uh, once in a while. So for now, I'm going to skip the front end alignment and changing over all the radiator and heater hoses and all that and belts everything works uh nothing leaks so uh, you know i'm not going to be taking this on a long trip or anything if i was i'd do all that so just to save a little bit of time and money i'm just going to skip all that because most likely it's just going to sit under here under the carport collect dust and I'll just drive it once in a while. Uh, like I said in my other video, uh, these cars just increase in value. All my cars here, so I have no problem letting them sit. Uh, when you do let them sit, just make sure you put stabilizer stuff in the gas and uh, a cayenne pepper. Sprinkle that around the engine to keep the rats away. That's the only thing that keeps rats away. Don't fall for the dryer sheets and the mothballs and that crap. None of that works. Cayenne pepper. Sprinkle it on your engine. Keep the rats away. Okay, so that's basically what this car... That's all I'm going to... So what's left... Uh, what's left for me to buy is the stripe kit for the paint. I've already got the paint. Stripe kit and these marker lenses here. And I believe that's all I got left to buy on it. Okay, now work to do on it. I uh, went as far as I can on the interior without recovering the seats uh, and the headliner. But I'm going to do a recap whenever I finish this. I'll do a recap video of all what, that I've done to it, all what it's cost me. And then what needs to be done to, you know, to make it perfect or just to make it a daily driver, that type of thing. Okay, so the work to be done is really just paint and body work. That's all I'm going to do to it. So the last remaining videos are going to be that. Okay, last video we did the hood and the fender. Um... This side here is just the doors full of dings, roof is full of hail, deck lid's got a bunch of hail, a few more dings on the quarter panel. You know, way back we fixed the the quarter panels, but I didn't really do above it. You can see one ding here. Just little stuff like that. But the whole thing's gotta be blocked down. Okay. Uh I'll go over that rear spoiler here in a minute. I am going to urethane these louvers on. I'll go over that when the time comes. Okay, uh, yeah, so I think that's about it. Everything else is done, so we just got paint and body to do. That's it. And it's going to be a lot is very going to be very time consuming uh doing all this paint and body primering it blocking it primering it sanding it and then painting it and it's going to be uh satin black on the hood at least gloss black on the sides and then it's going to sit for a couple of weeks and then we're going to do the stripes i'm going to get a new set of stripes like this i'm going to put them on there and whatever else it needs after that, then it'll be done. Okay, right now we gotta redo this rear spoiler. So 
So we'll go over this. Uh, if you didn't watch my other videos, this is what it came with. It didn't even come with these uh, deals here. The nuts. I had to get them from the hardware store. Just holes in there with some threads that. Okay, so. I don't know how the factory one uh, mounts. I'm assuming they, they half-ass copied this thing. So I drilled four holes, a little oversized, because I had to uh, move it around. So what was happening was the end here was sticking up. See, this is why this is why I painted this and then mount the spoiler and then I'm gonna paint the car because doing this after the car is painted it would just be a royal pain in the ass okay so what happened was all this edge here was sticking up right here so I pried it apart and stuffed it full of urethane this is the windshield sealant all along there, used every clamp I had and clamped it on there. And it lasted about a day and then it just peeled back. Okay, so as you can see, it stuck to the deck lid perfectly. I mean, it's on there. I'm fixing to scrape it all off. It's gonna be a pain in the ass. And here, I don't know if you can see with that sun glaring. Here, it didn't stick at all. So, obviously, urethane doesn't stick to fiberglass. Something new. And it's very thin. You see this thing? It just bends. Because my last alternative, after I might try a few more things, is to rivet this thing in there. Put it on there like that and then drill holes every friggin' inch because it's so flexible, see? And put rivets in it and then skim it with some Dynaglass, Fondo glass and block it out. That's my last alternative. I don't know what's gonna stick to this uh, fiberglass. Uh, I have fiberglass resin and I could put some, mix up some resin and hardener and grind this down a little bit and see if that resin will bond to this and to this, to the deck lid after this is scraped off. So anyway, that's what I got going. And then since the holes, see, I had to wallow them out there to line it up and everything, and I. And I filled it all up with uh, silicone. So I got to peel all that off. And uh, well, I got this little spacer here. I didn't even put spacers in there because, as you can see here, I put, put something on there. Uh, nuts there to. Anyway, I'm going to redo it. So I will be back. Uh, when I figure out something after I scrape all this off and redo it. Okay, so I think that's going to be the plan. Is uh, get that spoiler fixed and then really just start on the, on the bodywork. Get it all primed. I'm going to mount them louvers. We'll go over them louvers real quick since I've got the camera going here. Uh... I don't know how these, I didn't know how these mounted factory. Uh, hang on, I think this is the other side. <coughs> okay, um, so somebody told me that they take this molding off here. And then these clips, which half of them are broken. 
see these clips here? I don't want to lay it down. See this clip here? So after that molding is off, this clip points up and it tucks underneath here somehow. I don't know if you can see it. So they're supposed to tuck up underneath here after the molding is off. But this thing, I didn't reseal this one because it wasn't leaking, but it's got a, it's got sealant in it. And the other side was leaking because the quarter panel had been replaced a long time ago. And they never, they put some caulking in there and it disintegrated. Okay. So I'm not going to do it that way. I'm going to leave this holding on there and... What I'm going to do is just urethane where these clips are. I'm going to urethane around the clips. And then I'm just going to mount it. I'm just going to line it up. Stick it on there. And tape it on there. And uh, That's not all the way on there. But something like that because I can clean these windows with the louver on there and I don't know what they would would have done when they were new what do they keep taking these off every time they wash the car it doesn't make sense some clips would just break bend and bend and then break so and this is the original Chrysler one there got the Chrysler logo so that's what I'm going to do. Basically, they're going to be permanently mounted on there. They ain't ever going to come off. At least I'm not going to be taking them off. Okay, so that's how we're going to mount them. So, mount them, do the rear spoiler. Uh, the primer will be in tomorrow. we got to block and redo this hood a little bit. A few little dings on it. Other than that, uh, the other door and then this whole side here. We're going to scrape off with a razor blade all these stripes and then uh, probably do 80 grit on this whole side and find all the dings. But the biggest part is going to be this uh, roof. You see these little spots of rust and these big hail dents? I'm going to strip that down the metal. So the roof's going to be stripped down the metal. Gonna fill all them in, block it, prime it, block it, prime it. Okay, so that's basically what this video is gonna be about. Uh, I'll go, uh, I'll show little steps there in case you're uh, wanting to do some body work and prep because 90% of the paint job is in the prep. Okay, you know, you could have the best paint job, but if you don't prep it very good, well, paint's gonna fly off and the uh, and the, you know you got to use good good epoxy primer and uh, and prep it real good before you do the body work and prep it real good when you're sanding and all that and once that's all done then you can paint it but don't ever paint it before it's uh, completely prepped so I'm gonna go over steps like that okay so uh, yeah welcome to all the new subscribers and if you haven't subscribed yet, just click the bottom uh, right-hand corner, so says subscribe. Uh, it doesn't cost you anything, it's free. And uh, be notified when you click on your subscriptions there. Be notified when my new videos are coming out. And we'll get this thing done. I'm not sure of the timeline yet. It's over 100 degrees every day, so I'm kind of working at night and in the mornings and... Uh, and I got other stuff to do, but oh, uh, I don't know. If I was to guess, probably within a month, another few more videos. I've been doing these videos about once a week. Okay, so, uh, okay, I'll see you next segment, uh, most likely after I get that rear spoiler hopefully permanently mounted on there. Okay, we'll see you next segment. Okay guys, I mixed up a bunch of resin and put it on uh, a good coat 
on the deck lid and the spoiler. This little chrome is not really, it's not really holding it up. It's just very. I put a piece of wood along there with some clamps this time, get it all even. Let me put this. this, this barely holding it up. Okay, I think I know what the problem is. This contour on this side, it's, uh, if you get this flush on this side, then this side sticks up, and then the opposite. That's why I got that clamp there. I clamped all this first, and then when I clamped that, it wanted to pull it up. So I had to put a couple extra clamps here, and then it kind of stuck up. I put a couple of screws, one there, one there, two on the other side. It was sticking up just a hair. And I did put some resin along here, uh, too, and some silicone, a little bit of silicone. We'll see if that holds. I'm going to let it sit for uh, uh, probably a good 24 hours. And then unclamp it, and if it breaks apart, I'm just going to have to put all rivets on it because this is getting... Uh, a little, a little bit ridiculous. Uh, the little insets that the screw goes into. Uh, these two here in the middle, they when I was tightening them up, they just it just came out. So the two on the ends held. So I kind of siliconed them back up there just to keep it from leaking water. But anyway, uh, yeah, I wouldn't recommend buying this. This is uh, I bought off that Canadian company or guy there in uh, Canada off eBay for $159 plus $69 shipping. And uh, now he's upped it to $175 or something dollars. But uh, they, unless you want to go through a bunch of work getting it fixed and... and uh, you know, I would recommend if you get one to rivet it all in there, rivet it all along here, all along the bottom, because uh, they just don't fit worth the dam. But if you can't find one, you know, he's the only guy that I found that makes them. Uh, you can, you know, if you want to spend 700 bucks, you can buy a factory used one. But I wasn't about to do that. Okay, so that's what I got going now. Uh, I'll be back a little bit later. Okay, guys, I took all the clamps off. I let it sit for about two days. And uh, so far it's holding. Took the screws out. Uh, I'll fill them in later. So, so far it's holding. We'll see. We'll be... Uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, I mounted the uh, side louvers on there. I think they'll they'll stay on there. I got my primer in here from eBay. This is the stuff I showed you before, but uh, that's it with the hardener, activator, whatever you want to call it. Uh, price went up a little bit, it's like 120 bucks now instead of 100. Everything's just going up and up and up and up and up. Okay, so I only had one coat on this hood and fender just to keep it from rusting, and uh, so I've just blocked it down last night, actually in the dark. So it's got a little bit of surface rust from the mountain dew or the uh, morning dew. So I'm going to scuff over them and uh, go over it. I think there's a few little dents I'm going to try to fix. Do a couple little skims. This thing is just really hammered. It's all, it's all up here, here, here. I don't know what happened. Okay, so I'm going to prime the hood and the fender. And I think we'll get to uh, stripping the roof. 
and just kind of wipe the dew off of it. Uh, I think it'll come off pretty easy, so I'm just going to use 80 grit with the DA sander and uh, just strip it all down to the metal and then we'll find, like, well, you can already see the big dents that's just hammered with hail and then we're going to be skimming uh, skimming over the de hail dents and then uh, blocking her down, sanding and blocking so that's what I'm going to get going now before it gets too hot um, So yeah, I, I pretty much fill in these uh, dents, you know, they don't believe any of the myths of, uh, you know, they'll pop out with, you know, dry ice or little suction dent puller things, none, none of that stuff works. So I'm just going to fill them in just like door dings. So we're going to do the roof and driver's door. And I think there's just a few little dings on this quarter. So I get I think we'll do that side. Just get this whole side in primer. And uh get the roof in primer. And then we'll move on, do the deck lid and the other side. The other side I gotta scrape all that all the decals and stuff off. And then this is all is all dented and warped here, so there's gonna be a, a skim of body filler right in there. But we'll go over it. Uh, okay, well, I'll be back with some updates here in a little while. Okay, guys. Got about half this roof stripped. I'll show you. Uh, got a couple of big dents here. Here. And then this one here, I don't know what happened. It was kind of warped. I to beat it down a little bit. So I got this area here to do. Uh, same with this area here. Uh, that one's kind of a big one and you can see the white Still showing it's a little dent there uh, A little one here So what I'll do is I'll fill all them in uh, Probably the bigger ones cheese grate them down like I did on the hood and block them down and then uh, DA if this is 80 grit here, I'll DA it down with 180 and then look for any, block it out and look for any uh, other dents. Then I'll do the same thing on the, on the other side. Okay, I'll be back. Okay guys, uh, I was working on it last night. I got the front ready to prime again. And uh, fixing the hail on the roof. Got a few more spots there to smooth out. Wasn't as bad as I thought. Basically where those Bondo is. That's, that's where the spots were. So I'm going to prime that too. Um, spoiler seems to be holding. Should probably open and slam it a hundred times just to make sure. But Okay, so I'll come back when uh, it's primed. And we'll get to working on probably this side here, that door, a few dings on the quarter. Okay, I want to talk about a few things. Uh, been getting a lot of comments, but they're not showing up on the videos. I don't know why. They show up in the notifications. I click on it. It's not on the uh, comment on the video. So I don't know what's what YouTube is doing, but one guy commented on how he, he liked that I repair the grill and he learned something new uh, and I think the consensus is it should be silver because you know the hoods gonna go in black so it'll be too much black with the hood and the grill so I'm gonna paint that silver uh, so yeah I didn't know if I was gonna fix that grill or what but I just got a hair up my ass and decided to screw around with it it turned out pretty good. We'll see if it lasts. It may not. So yeah, hope everybody learns uh, a little something off each of my video. I try to do uh, little tips and tricks and stuff like that. And we'll see if it works. You know, if it doesn't, I'll tell you. Um, 
So yeah, I don't know what uh, YouTube is doing with them comments. The, sometimes they put them in review if you swear or something like that, but as far as I could tell, there was no swear words in it. And uh, what else? Or something else I was going to... Oh, another guy uh, said I inspired him to make his own YouTube channel. And uh, that's cool. Everybody should... Uh, I'm hoping I'm inspiring people. Yeah, go ahead and try to make a YouTube channel. Don't expect to make a lot of, you know, any money from it for, from what I was told, at least three years. You got to build up a lot of videos just to start getting a few bucks. And it'll just trickle in, you know, you get 50 bucks in a month. And, you know, it's it's really not doing it for, worth doing it for the money unless you, uh, uh, really gonna pump out the videos good quality videos, you know mine aren't that great uh, You know I haven't even done the uh, time-lapse I might start trying to get into that doing the time-lapse thing and uh, Some other stuff like that, or, you know, I really need kind of like a camera another camera person to uh, video some stuff and uh, But I just hear stories about uh you know, those big YouTubers spending 8 to 10 to 12 hours a day just editing, you know, hours and hours of footage. And I'm I'm not going to do that. That's just a total waste of time for me. It's all right for them guys because they're making, you know, a couple hundred thousand a month. You know, like Cletus and Goon Squad and all them. Those guys are just killing it. But uh, that's not my goal. And uh, I'm not going to spend 8, 10, 12 hours a day editing editing chopping up little bits of video i just do little segments and splice them all together it doesn't take too long to put them all into one video uh, my uploads take a long time i just got the uh supposed to be high speed internet but it's a satellite satellite internet and it's slow as hell that colorado vacation one i well i did that in 4k uh that thing took like almost three days to upload <laughs> it's crazy but if you haven't seen that one it's uh if you like colorado scenery of mountains and stuff like that that's why i did it in 4k so you can really blow it up on a big screen if you got youtube on cable and uh really nice scenery i just love colorado okay so we'll get them out of the way okay i'm gonna prime the front there and then we'll work on the other door and then this side here, scrape all the stripe and start. Okay, so I'll be back. Okay, guys, I got the uh, hood, fender, and roof primed. I think that's the last prime for the hood and the fender. And this is just roughed in, basically, on the roof. So I'll show you what you should do I don't do it very often because I can uh, I've been doing it for so long but what you want to do is get a can of black paint this is after you do the body work and prime it for the first time okay and just uh, this is called a guide coat you don't paint it like you're painting this thing this thing's not spraying very good I'll just do it here so you get the hint of it just put a real light coat that covers everything. Okay, and then when you block it out, you will see sand scratches, high spots, low spots, stuff like that. And then you can go over it and prime and reblock it or fill it in a little bit with some spot putty, stuff like that. Okay. that back okay now we're gonna get started on this driver's door just plug in my DA got my DA sander here with some 80 grit and I'll do this one-handed again <laughs> somebody commented they like the way I camera in one hand and DA in the other yeah I'd like to, a couple extra hands there one for holding a cigarette and the other for holding a beer but okay 
So we're going to knock all this white off. This car has actually been so easy to prep because it's been factory paint. Even the green hood and fender were factory, so it sanded off real easy. Some cars you'll get, man, they'll have like been painted four, five, six times. And you got to take a grinder to get all that crap off down the metal. But this one's been okay. Uh, this door, if you watch my previous episodes, I changed this door out. So it has little rivets here that I might have to grind down for the uh, molding. The door that this came off, it had a side molding. But we'll just, I know where the big dings are, a couple right here. So we'll just sand some of these down. So you can see where that dent is right there and just use your sander dig in the middle of it to uh, prep it Okay, I don't want to screw up my camera too much with a bunch of dust and stuff in it. But you get the hint, this is the factory white paint here. It's just sanding off real easy with 80. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and do the whole door like that. And then I'll come back and uh, skim these uh, dents with some body filler. I forgot one dent down here. There's a little bit of a, a scrape right here. So I'm going to fill that in while I'm at it. Okay, so I'll be back. Okay guys, I pretty much got her stripped down. You can uh, see most of them. Uh, when I had this door, before I, when I put it on there, I banged out uh, some dents. There's a pretty big dent there. So basically we're just gonna skim over it. I got some body filler here. And we're just going to fill in the dents. Those are two pretty big ones right there. So we got a little bit extra on there. And we'll use a cheese grater to uh, get it down a little bit. And then this one was a pretty good size one too. I'll go over some of these little dents. You can see one here. A little one there. A little one there. A little one there. Okay. You get the hang of it. I'm just going to... Uh, a little bit more here. I'll mix up some more, get the rest of them, then I'll knock it down with the cheese grater, and then when it really dries, I'll go over it with the DA with AD and and block it so I'll be back okay I spread some more I'm gonna start cheese grating some of the do this to save yourself a lot of sandpaper
usually just do this over the deeper dents because you got to re-skim it anyway so just knock it down flat as you can then go over it with your DA with 80 grit and then just a light skim over it and then you can then you can uh, sand it down the rest of the way Stuff here is drying a little too fast. It'll probably be okay for now. Okay, so you let that dry and go over it with 80 on your DA. I'll be back. Okay, guys, I've been working on it for a couple of days. Uh, so this is the first update in that time. Got all the dents and dings. And it's just a lot of blocking and and uh, stuff. Now I noticed some more dents on the rocker, so I still got to fix them. One there, one there. I believe there's one down here somewhere. Just got to fix them. I'm trying to get it primed tonight. Figure I'll give you an update before it gets too dark. Um, yeah, so got the door all straight. Then I started on the quarter panel. And if you remember in the past videos, I just did the bottom quarter panel where I fixed all that rust and uh, just roughed it in. So now I'm smoothing that out and then fixed all the dents up in here. And just got a final block that in 180 grit. Got a little ding right here. And I started on the deck lid had a couple of about three baseball size dents a couple little ones and I started smoothing this uh, spoiler out to sand it a little bit so I'm gonna fix that but I'm trying to get at least this side all primed so that way more than half the car will be done hood roof this whole side deck lid But anyway, uh, I'll give you another update in the morning. I'm going to be working here for another few hours and try to get this thing ready to prime and prime it. And then I'll give you an update, show it to you tomorrow morning. We'll see you then. Okay, guys. It's the next day. I got all them areas primed. So now we got the hood and the fender completely done. The roof, door, quarter panel, and deck lids all got to be sanded and reprimed. Okay, so then pretty much all we have left to do, bodywork wise, is this side quarter panel, door, and fender. So we're going to save that for next video. Uh, this is. Man, this is about three days straight of this, doing this body work and sanding and blocking and priming. Just uh, takes a lot of time. And she's got to be straight. It's going black. Okay, so uh, thanks everybody for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, share, hit the notification button, all that stuff. And we're, we're getting pretty close to painting it. Uh, not real, real close, but uh, I don't know. I, if I was to guess, probably within the next month. Because uh, all this prime's going to dry for a couple days. Sand it, reprime it, sand it. And then we're going to paint the uh, flat black on the hood. Then let that sit for a couple days. Then sand the whole thing down and water sand it. Uh, with 400 grit. And mask it so yeah probably probably within the month we'll have this thing painted but uh, stay tuned if you're interested in knowing how to prep a, a car to paint like I said 90% of a paint job is in the prep and I'll show you I didn't show you too much on the sanding part but next video uh, 
I tried to do something a little different there and uh, show you a little bit more uh, sanding, blocking, and uh, prep techniques and all that stuff. Okay, so we'll see y'all next video.